Can a human beat ABS? To find out, we tested the braking distance with ABS on against a racing driver and a regular driver with ABS off. No! Oh. Right then, so let's go and set a benchmark with ABS. It's gonna warm the tires up. We're braking in the same spot. It's already got a bit of rubber down. And we're gonna do three, four, five different runs. So it came to a stop in 34.93 meters. Actually pretty good. 35.11, so yeah, really consistent. 34.15. So how does ABS keep the stopping distance so consistent? The anti-lock braking system means that the car can stop in the same distance, whether it's your Gran or Lewis Hamilton behind the wheel. It uses wheel speed sensors to detect when a wheel starts to lock up. You can see in the slow motion footage that it then adjusts the braking force up to 15 times a second to keep the wheels rolling. The advantage is that you retain as much steering control as possible under heavy braking. And the other obvious benefit is that you're not skidding uncontrollably into an accident. A tire that's skidding has far less traction than one that isn't. Just think of what it's like driving on ice. So with that in mind, what happens when a normal driver tries the same stop from 60 miles an hour with the ABS off? To find out, we needed to pull the fuse for the ABS and put Will behind the wheel of the MX-5. The science behind stopping this little Mazda as fast as possible is really about kinematics, laws of motion and friction, all of which you can learn from the bottom up with our sponsor Brilliant. Brilliant. They're the best place to learn about science, technology, engineering, and maths. They break down something that is really quite complex into quick interactive courses, like this one on classical mechanics. It teaches you with great case studies on Formula One, cars, and motorcycles, teaching you about topics like angular kinematics, so the forces enabling Scott to corner, friction, allowing Scott to stop, and collisions, like if Scott didn't stop in time. This isn't like a physics class in school. They are visual interactive courses that allow you to learn at your own pace. To get started for free, visit brilliant.org forward slash driven media or click on the link in the description. And the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. And now I'm going to try and beat the computers. Uh, does anyone know what to do? I'm Googling. We did do this probably, what, six months ago, nine months ago, but it was nine months ago, so we've forgotten. Are you sure it was that one? It was a small one last time. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon it was that one. Yeah. Yeah. While Scott and Callum figure out what fuse to pull, you should subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Ta-da! Right, we don't need that. <laughs> no. <laughs> How did you do? 45, go do better. I, I didn't even think about it, I just braked like I was normal. And then it locked. Yeah, so now I'm gonna think. It wasn't enough and then it was too much, and then it wasn't enough again. Okay. What was that? 42. I did the same things wrong, but less. This is the problem with humans, is that ABS doesn't have to learn. You ABS really... doesn't go, sorry, just, can I do that again? No. Right, this time, under 40 meters, please, will you? <laughs> 39. 39! That's like three meters ago. If we keep doing this till the evening, it'll just stop instantly. <laughs> <laughs> do, you think, do you think there's a bit more performance in you? I think a smidgen. Channel your inner Gran Turismo. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm back to square one at 45 <laughs> meters there. <laughs> What's the matter? Just wasn't good. 42.35. Yeah, so I'm actually getting worse. Yeah. You peaked. Are the tyres going off? Is that the problem? Yeah, you know, I was just feeling temperature off. Temperature off. I could do better, but I'll be here for a very long time. <laughs> Compared to ABS on, Will was five metres off on his best run and 10 metres off on his worst. Will can't react quick enough to a locker, whereas the ABS system will try and fix it almost instantly. So it's probably best that he just leaves his ABS on. As you can probably tell, ABS makes a huge difference to the braking distance for a regular human like me. But how does that compare to a professional racing driver? We put Scott back in the car to see if he could beat the computer. Right, watch this lads. I'm so confident I think you can you can stand there. 
No, no, I want you to sit here. <laughs> no. Just Mate, think car. of the retention. <laughs> Nowhere near! That was rubbish! That was 40 meters. <laughs> oh no. So I beat launch control. <laughs> Come on humans! And I thought this was gonna be similar to be honest. So now I'm thinking as a driver, where can I make up that time? I locked up the front left. So the problem is when you don't have the brake bias and you don't have ABS, I'm restricted by that one tire that's locking up and all the other three aren't braking at their maximum capacity. So that's gonna be the problem, but I didn't think it would be that much. I mean, that's a huge difference. <laughs> 43. <sighs> the interesting thing there is it's completely inconsistent. Like the first time I locked up the front left, that time I locked up the rear. Oh, did you? Uh, yeah, that's why it was like, but I'm not gonna get anywhere near it. Again, this shows the advantage of ABS. You're not restricted by one of the tires or one of the axles like I was then. Even though the ABS can take the brakes on and off quicker than me because it can do it with the, with the computer, I can actually predict when it's gonna brake traction, which the ABS just simply can't do. Better. 37 got on them a little bit softer, allowed the nose to come down a little bit, and then ramped up and the pressure. From outside, you had a more consistent squeal. Yes. So it was like you had them loaded exactly. right before they let go, most of the way down the run. So that's me getting better. It's a good job Callum didn't stand in the way, isn't it? <laughs> Would have damaged my car again. So that one was 30, 8.5, the previous one was 37.5, so I'm two and a half off, but I'm less consistent than the ABS was. Last one. No! Whoa! Locked up a little bit. 39.3, it's all over the place. Well, fellow drivers of the world, I'm sorry. I was predicting that you would be ABS. Yeah, me too. I'm quite disappointed in you, actually. I am in myself. As I've apologized already, but I'll do a written statement if you okay, want me to. As expected, I was much better than Will. A smidgen. But I just couldn't beat the ABS. Where I was close on my first attempt with the ABS off, it took Will three goes and he was still five meters off the ABS. Not only was the stopping distance shorter with the ABS on, but it was much more consistent compared to when it was turned off. You should check out this video where we tested a human against launch control. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.